Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the greatest show on the African continent. I'm back in the city. You know what it is, man. I've been gone for a while, but now I'm back, man. It's been like six months or so, <laughs> but I'm back, and we gonna get it. We gonna alchemist this ish. You dig what I'm saying? And yeah, man, shout out to the hustlers out there, because we've been hustling. We done left that school, man, and then we coming back harder than ever. But I'm fucking tired, but you know what it is. Shout out to y'all. But today, it's not about me. It's about the Massachusetts bad guy who is a force to be reckoned with, man. And she's been infiltrating the game, getting big features with Lil Durk, Nicki Minaj, and Russ. Mm. Your big tins, hey? She's been in the game for a while now, and yes, she was found on YT by Mr. Family, who would later on introduce her to Pharrell Williams. Yes, baby, she is a Pharrell prodigy, and he signed her in the mid 2010s. And you know what it is, man. She was in the label, and when she got out of the label, damn, she was freshly cooked, freshly fried, and she was ready to take over the rap game, ladies and gentlemen, and today you know who we got, it is Bia, I'm in London, I love shopping at the mall, <laughs> let's get it, yes ladies and gentlemen, so, Bianca Landro was born on August 16th, 1991 in Medford, Massachusetts, to a Puerto Rican dad and an Italian mom. Her ethnicity would have a lasting impact on her as she didn't fit in because she was a mixed, 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 bye bye. And man, because she would always also travel from her mom to dad's crib and she wasn't in a stable one place, but that's all cool though. And she spent much of her childhood miles near Boston, which is a city that is not really recognized for rap and any real hip-hop moguls so she always felt underrated and as for school miss bianca wasn't really invested however though she did graduate from medford high school and then she'd enroll in college but ended up dropping out at that point she did some part-time gigs like bartending while working at the mall as well she would find her niche and she would find that damn she really wants to make food for soul which is called music ladies and gentlemen and at 14 years old okay we're backtracking all right at 14 years old she would find her crowd in the studio where she would battle rap battle rap battle rap and she wasn't rapping that much and however though she did record others and write raps in her rap book or rap notebook which she kept for like damn for four years ladies and gentlemen before she released it to anyone for them to hear and miss bianca's inspirations are the biggest lady in the world riri riri do you love me Alia, Selena, and Nikki, and with all that mixed up, that makes the spicy mummy Bia Bia. I'm in London, London, and after discovering herself and discovering her talent and pushing herself to like be out there, she would work and fund her own studio sessions. And many people did not believe in a dream at first and really doubted it. Yeah, she started proving them wrong, man, when she came out with them bars. And her come up was really slow and steady, though. When she realized, man, that damn, I'm actually quite good, she released her mixtape called Hi. Oh, her mixtape Chola. Yeah, man. Chola, Chola, Chola. C H O L A. Just, yeah, pronounce it for me, guys, in the comments. But it's all good. Chola season. After self funding the video, she posted the vid on YouTube and the video would be viewed by the guy Fam Lay. He fell in love with the sound and the track and she and he saw that damn she offered something different and something vibrant to the industry. So he offered himself as manager. Let's flip the page. So ladies and gentlemen, with that, with Fam Lay's help, she'd get introduced to Pharrell Williams, who would take her under his wing. She would sit, man, and analyze the game and get some game from Pharrell while she was in the studio. 
and man after some time Pharrell told her to drop a 16 bar verse and if the verse was hot she would sign her and oh he would sign her and if the verse was whack she must hit the flipping road and it took her only 20 minutes to write the verse and Pharrell Williams was quite impressed and he signed her to his label at I am other studios or entertainment yeah she was part of the roster and before she really started working she was involved in a fatal motorcycle which she was a passenger on the bike and she got hit by a drunk driver which she flew 20 to 30 feet up high and almost broke her leg yeah ladies and gentlemen of broke her leg she did while recouping she show up on sisterhood of hip-hop this was a series that tracked five female rappers who were still trying to get into the game and after season two she'd leave the series and in 2016 she got a feature by j balvin j balvin in her track in his track called safari and she now had bigger eyes on her and she then was selected by pusha t to perform at his opening act for his darkest before dawn tour and the following year she joined ariana grande on her european tour and that was the same year as the manchester bombing that happened on may 27 she then moved to la she dropped her first EP called Nice Girls Finish Last in 2018. Unfortunately, she'd have a fallout with the label and RCA and Pharrell Williams in 2019. And she said it was the best decision to go the indie route and push herself further. So, Bia would then release uh, in a minute. Oh, like one minute warning. Yes, that was a song and she would release on by russ oh no 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 and she would release a song with russ called best down earth best down earth and that man would boost her career up man and she really went viral when she got a shout out from rihanna and rihanna said damn girl i love your song and this was a song to be reckoned with for the summer time and in 2020 man she signed to epic records and dropped another ep called for certain which came with the hit a lot of money and it reached top 10 of the billboard heat seekers top 10 heat seekers on the billboard album chart and that would earn her a nomination at the BETs for best breakthrough song of 2021 oh no at the MTV VMAs ladies and gentlemen oh, pardon me it's been long since I've been on the mic but yeah after that she got a remix with Nicki Minaj and man she's soon dropping a studio album she's been working on her business side as well for a makeup line or cosmetic line called beauty for certain and the girl really wants to be a mogul man rihanna you got some competition on you but i love you bae but you know what it is ladies and gentlemen mm, it's really hola baby mucho gusto thank you for tuning in just like subscribe and comment man and Tell us if you want to see more of these and weekly news and yeah, just comment down below.